And so I was once a brand new Uber Eats driver, so I can completely understand that we need some Uber Eats tutorials to teach us the difference between a multiplier with Uber Eats and what's the difference between that and a peak pay with Uber Eats. Well, I have my phone in hand, I have visuals for this tutorial, so let's get started on what's the difference. So here is an image of Montreal, and this was taken back in the summer time in Montreal. So basically, we have different colors going on in the screen. We have the blue with the 2.3x, and that's a multiplier, and we'll dissect more. And then we have the other colors. So we have $1.50 in orange, 250 also in orange, 350 going into red, and 550 in red as well. Those are peak pays. So the difference upon when these are two offered is a multiplier is gonna be offered during actual busy time slots versus a peak pay is just for a busy moment. So let me explain more. Let's say Uber Eats is offering a 2.0 multiplier starting at 11 a.m. up until 2 p.m. What that means is during that entire shift, if you're on with them for three hours or even one hour, as long as you're doing deliveries between the 11 to two, you will be benefiting from that 2.0 multiplier. For a peak pay, it's for a moment in time that they need you. So let's say it's 12.20, they don't have enough drivers and they need somebody for the next 20 minutes. What they might do is stamp a peak pay, such as let's say the 550, as an incentive bonus offer to get more drivers during that time on the road and then you would benefit with both. Now, for this example, I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what a base fare is with Uber and how a multiplier works into place. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that your base fare offer, so that means the minimum offer you can be offered by Uber with no tips, no incentive whatsoever, was $3. If you had a multiplier of 2.0, that means that multiplier, that $3 rather, is multiplied by 2.0. So instead of getting a minimum of $3, you should be getting a minimum of $6. Now I will say this, Uber Eats just changed their base fare from market to market. So this is just a demonstration example. It's not that every market is a $3 base pay. So in this screenshot, we have a 2.3. So not only would you make the $6, you're gonna make additional couple of cents more on the $6 because of the 0.3. Now, the difference between that and a peak pay is let's say with this screen example, let's say it was a total with the multiplier at $6.50. If it's a total of $6.50, plus you got that $5.50, you have now just stacked yourself up and you now have a total of $12. That is the difference between a peak pay and a multiplier. They can go hand in hand together, but there are some markets, for example, if you're not in the city of Montreal, really quiet suburban areas that don't benefit with multipliers. So you could be having a market that is very quiet, it's six o'clock at night, and Uber Eats needs some drivers to go out. They're not gonna put on a random multiplier that they tallyate within the weeks to come, not day of, but they could slap a nice peak pay in the mix. Now, why do I not like peak pays? Because often enough, I find when there's peak pays in the mix, it's because of the fact that Uber Eats needs more drivers on the road because there's less beneficial offers. Would you like to get set up with an offer, for example, if you were getting a peak pay of $1.50, that means you get $1.50 more per order. Great, if my base fare is $3, I don't have a multiplier, and they're giving me $1.50, we know that my minimum will be $4.50. But what often happens is when they put peak pays in my market at least, that means that there's a lot of non-tipping orders. $1.50 will not make up for that five, 10, 15, sometimes even $20 tip that I might be receiving. So I find during the busy hours, are not going out to do those deliveries enough or they're not accepting those non-tip orders that's what's impacting them to put a peak pay now sometimes it's bad weather condition sometimes they just truly need drivers and there's some good offers there's a difference between a multiplier and a peak pay in your area